Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. All right, welcome back as we are remembering Coach Jack Becker. I want to go to one of the previous coaches at Vanderbilt Catholic High School, Coach Spinella, who, by the way, Coach, congratulations. You're a great-grandfather now, right? Big male? Yep. Sure is. Max. Okay. I did a little research on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's going to call me Big Mel. All right, there you go. I want you to take us back. What? When's the first day you met? Coach Becker, do you remember? Yeah, uh, he kind of impressed me uh, when I uh, met him. It was, I think, 1969 when I was the head coach at Vanderbilt. And when I first saw him, you know, I looked up to him because I'm only like 5'10". He's probably, what, 6'7"? Six, 6'7", seven? Six, seven. yeah. And all I could think about was when I played at Tulane, and I went against a guy, E.J. Hollop, who was a lot, 6'8", six, 6'7", six, played pro ball. Of course, he, he died. And uh, that's what I, I thought about Jack. I said, that, that guy is some huge. But uh, we got along pretty good. And like Gerald said, we, uh, we had two reunions in, I guess, the last three weeks. And he he was at both of them, you know. And uh, it, it's just funny because every time I used to see him around campus, I'd look up to him and I said, "Gaw," and he <laughs> he'd laugh. <laughs> and we kept, you know, we kept uh, after I got out of coaching, you know, we kept to be friends. And I finally got to see him again and. Uh, I'm glad I got to see him before he passed. Yeah, and and we always talk, I saw a lot of things on Facebook that called him the gentle giant. That was that was a pretty good way of describing it. I think he was. I I, I don't think he he coached any football, but uh, I used to watch, you know, the ball games and basketball. As a matter of fact, I I think I kept uh, the clock. <laughs> he did eighth grade. He coached our eighth grade football team. Him, oh, and, he did? him yeah. and Randy well, Carl, remember that, Jimmy? Yeah. yeah, he was. Uh, but I know him and Coach Albert ate more peanuts than any two coaches that ever lived. Yeah, well, he he was strictly basketball though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was he was a good one. Yeah, the X's and O's are different in basketball and football, right? Oh, a lot, a lot different. <laughs> yeah, but what a his teaching philosophy, a guidance counselor. I mean, a lot of people just remember him as a coach, but. His degree was in guidance, and I think he put his heart in that, didn't he? Matter of fact, uh, my granddaughter, uh, Stephen's daughter, um, she, I told her about Jack uh, dying, and she said he had taught her driver's ed, and uh, she uh, was impressed, very impressed with Jack. Yeah, my mama, when I was telling her I was doing this show today, before I left, she said, good man. He and, was a good yeah, man. Good man. And, but I do remember the driver's ed because I think I had Coach Becker who we would go through South Down to Sugar Cane, and on the curve, he'd make me hit the horn. And I said, Coach, can I ask you why we're doing that? He said, because if a car's coming the other way, you want to let him know you're coming around the curve. Uh -huh. So every time we go around that curve, <laughs> I'd hit the horn. Well, Coach Becker didn't teach me the last half of driver's ed. Coach Coyle took over. Uh, so I'm going through the same sugar cane field, <laughs> and I'm on the curve, and I hit the horn. He goes, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I taught driver's ed. I never did that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that he, had his own, he had his own method, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to miss about him? Jack was, uh, he never coached any football, so mm -hmm. I didn't really get to know him like Gerald did. But uh, he, he was a super nice guy. I uh, got to speak to him at uh, both reunions that uh, Gerald talked about. And uh, it's just like we, you know, hadn't seen him in 30 years. And it was like, you know, we 
we got together yesterday. You know what impressed me about him too is he remembered names. Yeah. Like he would always ask me how Mike was doing or Myrna was doing, and I'm going, how do you remember all those names? But he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, it's hard for me to remember. <laughs> yeah, and, and he didn't miss funerals. <laughs> You're right. Every time we go to a funeral, I look in the back of the church. Yes, Coach Becker. Yeah. <laughs> with that rumpled shirt. <laughs> Miss Linda, I'm not, this is nothing against you. I got you. But the facts <laughs> are the facts, right? <laughs> and he loved, I think he endeared that. Yeah. If you said he had an ugly tie and we did it for years, he was proud of the fact that he wore an ugly tie. Yeah. I think that was his attention getter. Yeah. He was but, a good man, really. Yeah, he was, yeah. no doubt. So we'll take a short break. We're going to come right back, and I'm going to talk with uh, others on the panel. So it's a let's show the panel if we can real quick, gang. There we go. We got Coach Neal on the left. We have Mike Bluan. We have Coach Kathy Luke. Coach, you know, Coach Albert, Coach Spinella. We got Terry Bro, great athlete at Vanderbilt. And we got Jimmy Watkins on the end who I'm surprised they ever did get a shot off at Vanderbilt Catholic while I was a senior. So, well, especially with Mike Blue and Jimmy sitting right there. All right, we'll, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 